Welcome to that generic tech podcast. I'm Timothy Matthews. <laughs> I'm Vinny Masidi, baby. Yeah, <laughs> we're back. We're Hi. back. What happened though? I don't understand. Um, it got cold and <laughs> <laughs> it got cold and there was a snowstorm and Christmas came. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? I'm all right. That's I'm good. okay. You're okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. You're, I'm you're, okay. You're good. Okay. Yeah, you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Tired. From all, this the, is, um, all the coldness. Just to, let, just to let everybody know, this is a completely not planned podcast. We're just... We said we haven't done one in a while because it's been really cold. And when it gets really cold, we we tend to get really lazy. <laughs> Very lazy. Like you just stay on the couch and you get a bunch of covers and you watch stuff on TV. That's about That's it. That's right. That's right. Because if you turn on your heating, your heat, your bill is going to be like this big. <laughs> so you have to like live with no heat. And we live in Canada, right? Well, we don't really live in Canada. We live like it's an offshoot of Canada. It's called Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> But but we won't get into that. That's a whole other topic. Yeah. So, um, so there's a lot of stuff that happened. So uh, you know what? How about the? I I made a change in my life. Yes, Tim actually made a huge change in his life. So uh, I kind of ditched the uh, the iPhone, and I got myself uh, a, a Galaxy Note two. Just just for the record, just this thing for the record. this thing is awesome. By the way. <laughs> Just for the record, Tim, you've been a um, a big time app uh, iPhone user. Like the the iPhone was your phone. Uh, yeah, for a while, until yeah. they, they they stopped giving a crap about innovation. But um, oh, the, oh, snap. The, this thing is like really like I've I've been using it all day. Like I've been making appointments and whatnot and. Checking into Twitter, doing Facebook, and then also doing, you know, reading PDFs uh, all day. You know, listening to podcasts as well, downloading podcasts. Um, got off the charger at six a.m. Right now it's ten thirty, and I still have forty-four percent battery. Awesome. So, and uh, that's you know not putting on the power settings. It's just go. Wait, you know, just... and and you're you're on LTE as well. And I'm on LTE. Wow, because LTE <laughs> drains the <laughs> hell out of batteries. Yeah, I know. I, and. This I have this now. The uh, this oh, is my I phone. Oh, that. You have the HTC um, 8X. The, the 8X, yeah. How's that? And it's it's wonderful. I love it. Um, I love everything about it. However, when you turn on LTE, the yeah, battery the like drains like a mofo. Yeah, it's crazy. Can you, it's, can you it's, put an extra battery in that? Like, can no. you swap batteries? Nope. No. Uh, uh. Not in this model. The the model below this, I think it's called the 8S. Yeah. You could change the battery. Okay. But you got a better phone anyway, so. Yeah, I I I love this phone. I yeah. love it. I could honestly say I finally I love a phone. Ooh, you love a phone. My focus, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Ooh, you love it. And I sold it on eBay. Which one? Oh, My the Samsung Lumia? Focus. Oh yeah, the Samsung Focus. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It hey, was that crap phone that they came out with that like no one talks about. The Teve. What a piece of crap. Uh, I don't, you know what? I didn't even. I saw it, and I'm Samsung like, nah. Ative. Like, no one cares. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, eh, you know. Mind, mind you, I'm in love with this phone. This phone is huge. It's huge. I look like a complete dork with it. Like, look, I'm gonna show Vince. Nice. Right. I like. I look like a complete dork. Nice. <laughs> it's like this big thing, but you know, I have big hands and whatever. It works. It works. So out. in 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 your everyday day to day operations as a network administrator, architect, consultant. It's very helpful. Yeah, because you want to know something. There's a lot more tools on this thing than uh, on iOS. Like, for example, um, there's a, a Wi-Fi analyzer that I used recently. Um, oh, yes. I have that on my um, Nexus 7. Yeah, the Wi-Fi Amazing. analyzer is pretty cool. Um, that got me out of such a jam. I love it. Yeah. No, no. It, 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 there's a lot more cool things that you can do with, with Android than what you can do with... Um, with uh, iOS, you know the widgets are there. You know now, especially I came, I went to the Android when it was at two point three, no two point two, no, yeah two point two, and um, it wasn't uh, mature. 
back then. Yeah. But now, no, it was, it was. Uh, now, now with uh, so I have Jelly Bean, now it's it's it, it's pretty up there right now. Like I have to say, mm-hmm. like, you know, it, it's pretty polished. You know, it took them four versions of Android, but they finally got it. Yeah. You yeah. Know? You know, I, I like Android. I, I like Android. I like pure Android. I don't. I don't like the other ones. This this is Touchwiz, and I'm not complaining. I'm not ruining this thing. I'm not ruining this thing anytime soon. It's it's pretty. So, it's, so pretty it's, it's decent. It's better. It's better than the others. Is what you're telling I, me. I I, I uh, well, I had uh, what the desire is. You know what? Here, this is a 4.3 inch screen. <laughs> this is my five. My 5.5. Oh my 5. god! It's, it's huge. It's 5.5 inches. It's insane. But um. I had uh, the HTC with Sense. It was okay, but it wasn't like it. Like it kind of felt like it got in the way of stuff, you know. Um, okay. TouchWiz, I can't complain about it. I really can't, especially with this phone. It's very, very fluid, very fast. So, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that that's that's my change right there. And it's it's practically a tablet, so I don't even carry my iPad around with me that much anymore. Wow. I mean, it does everything that I want it to do. So, yeah, I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty happy that's, about it. That's good. Well, um, I, um, as you know, I have the uh, now. I'm like, I have. I'm like in the eco. I'm like in everyone's up. I'm I'm all up in everyone's ecosystem. All right. I okay. have the iPhone four. Which we I use for the company. Mm-hmm. I have um, the Windows Phone 8 now, which is the HTC, which I use for my personal and my own company. I have this bad boy now, which is a new addition to my life, which is the the Surface RT. The Surface RT looks it's it's pretty cool. Okay, it's you know what? There's so much hate about the art the Surface RT. There's a lot of hate about it. I understand people are frustrated because you can't install legacy. I'm going to call them legacy apps, okay? X86 yeah. apps. Yeah. Traditional Windows applications. Yeah, but you know what? This is probably what Windows is going to be in the future. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's going to take a while for it to get to you that know? point. You know? Yeah. But uh, I, I, it's not, okay, obviously you know you're on an ARM processor when you're using it because it's, it's, it's okay. Slower. It's I mean, slower, it but it's slower. okay. Relax. It's not that big of an issue. Um, and and uh, and people are complaining about the price is too high. The price may be a little high, uh, but you are getting Office free with it. I think that's the killer thing, eh? So if if they come out with Office for like iPhone and iOS and an iPad and Android, that kind of just defeats the purpose of the Surface RT, though. No? Yeah. In that respect, so they shouldn't put Office. Because that's the, pretty much the selling point. Like, you get a tablet with tablet apps, and it comes with full-fledged Office. Yeah. You know, but like, for okay, the student, but you it's see, perfect. For the student, it's, it's, it's great because, like, there you go. It's, this is it. It's pre- pretty much, um, this is it. Yeah. That's it. This is what you carry around. And if you want, you have the keyboard as well. I don't have the keyboard right now. I'm getting that soon. But it's lightweight. It's fast enough for what you have to do, and it comes with full blown office, and it comes with a mail client. Uh, you yeah. know, okay, th- there's there's no there's no um, cellular band on it. It's neither does a laptop. S- you know, so neither I mean, does the, neither does the cheapest iPad either. So, you know, whatever. It's I I don't know I don't know what to say about it I like I, I like it I like I have no problem with it I know what it's all about and uh, and I'm always in uh, the modern UI when I'm using it mm-hmm. and it's very rare I go to the desktop uh, I don't use Office on it much if I do use um, any version of Office it's OneNote but you know you have a modern you have the modern UI OneNote and you have the desktop UI OneNote yeah. so. You know, if I'm gonna use it, it's gonna be for that. But it, this is for me. This is mostly leisure, and if I have to go like to a, a meeting or or something, I'll bring it along because it's tied into my SkyDrive. So whatever happens here happens everywhere else. Yeah. So no, that uh, that's pretty cool. That's that's no, that's definitely uh, 
I, t- I totally see, like, you know, if I was in school, I would totally get that. Totally, because it doesn't make any sense to to get... Um, I, well, I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you tried plugging in, because um, it has a USB port, right? Have yes. you tried plugging in, like, a thumb drive or something on it? Yes. And it works? Yes. Okay, have you tried plugging in a, a cellular a mobile stick? No. Okay. But here, I'll show you right now. Are you going to do this live? I'm going to do this live. All right. Here so, is so. the Surface in Modern UI. Mm-hmm. I'm saying Modern UI because it's not called Metro anymore. I'm going to click on the desktop. Yeah, it's Metro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should have never called it Metro in the first place. What were they thinking? Yeah, it's Metro. I'm it's gonna. That. I'm gonna. Oh, it has a thumb drive. Okay. Yeah, I just. It's hard to do this like the no, other you way can, You can do it. No, no, no. Don't don't. What's that on this? You're gonna face <laughs> it. You're gonna do it backwards. All right. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I just put it in, and it should pop up like like it does in Windows. There you go. So I mean, just like that, that makes this tablet a lot more accessible than um, than the iPad. It, it does. Okay. Okay. Also. Um, you, can, you can you can use it as removable storage. I mean, you just, you could use removable storage. Yeah, you can. Uh, but you know what other people are complaining about as well is that if you're buying the third uh, the thirty two gig model, you're only getting like sixteen gigs of of that, storage space. That, that's one thing I don't understand how yeah. the hell they screwed up the install on this thing. Yeah. Well, I you know what it's it's because of Windows. Because literally, Windows it's still Windows. Windows doesn't take that much, me- that, that much hard drive space. Windows 7 took like, what, 4 gigs max? Max? 7, seven or 8 maybe? No. One, maybe a bit more? I don't know. I, I, don't, I forget off the top of my head. But um, the, I, I don't know. The, the, that, I think they should have done something about that. However, you do have the option. And no, I don't know if you could see it, Tim, right there. I bought um, a $32, uh, 32 gig um, SD card, micro SD card. Oh, it's okay. like right there, and I it's it. and I have an extra here. I'll show you how it looks here. I'll go into the file explorer, and you'll see the C drive on the. Oops, I pressed the Windows button. You'll see the C drive on the top, maybe if you could see that, and then yeah. you'll see the SD card. So like, there's yeah. an extra 32 gigs right yeah, there. Right there. Okay. You know. So I mean, the okay, the memory at least is expandable. Yeah. At least. Is that's what I'm saying. Um on the pro version you're gonna have a USB three point slot. Yes. The the, the the pro version is is really like if I didn't have a MacBook and I needed to buy a laptop, I would be buying that in a in a heartbeat. But it's small. Who cares? Who cares? Well, this is coming from a guy who's talking to you through a 27-inch uh, LED monitor right now. You can plug a tw- that 27-inch monitor into your Surface. Yes, you can. There you go. So. Yes, you can. Boom. Touche. <laughs> Boom. Touche, Tim. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's about five, five gigs. Five gigs, okay. For, for a Windows 7 install. So, I mean... I don't understand how they're using 16 gigs. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. I have no idea. Anyway. All right. But so... anyway, I, I, I like it. Um, I, I did a, a, a kind of mini review on my blog, which I'll plug in after. Yes, you will. Um, Very good. Very good work on that, by the way. Oh, yeah? Thank you. Timmy has a really good blog, too. No, I don't. I haven't updated that thing in a while. But yours is <laughs> way, way more technical than mine is. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. <laughs> yours is more for like enterprise people. <laughs> it's uh yeah, it's it's not uh, approachable by any means. But um, so how is that playbook? <laughs> now that you have an RT tablet. Well, don't forget, I have an RT tablet. I have the <laughs> Nexus Seven. I still have the Nexus 7, and the playbook, I actually, I have to give it to my boss. You have to give it to your boss? Yeah, because... Look he, at that uh, thing, it sucks. My <laughs> God, I'm looking at it now, like, what the hell? And I, and I purposely really charged sucks. it, I purposely charged it just for you, 
because it was like dead. <laughs> I, I was actually I was gonna give this to my uncle. Why? Uh, you hate because your he want, he wanted a tablet just to play Angry Birds on. So you and hate... I'm like and I'm like perfect. I'll give you my my playbook, but uh, my boss needs it because uh, one of his clients bought a couple playbooks and he has to kind of like learn it. So I got to give it to him for a bit. So what what we revealed about you in this podcast is that you hate your uncle. <laughs> Because <laughs> I want to give him a playbook. Yes. <laughs> and and your boss is going to have need a lot of Tylenol. Oh man, yeah. So the reason why I'm bringing but, that up is because but, it's it's because of BlackBerry Ten. BlackBerry Ten was announced this week, and um, <clears throat> I really don't give a crap about this thing. I don't either. Really? I, it's so I wanted boring. to. I'm going to be honest. I wanted to give a shit about it. I did. <laughs> I wanted to care. I, I watched the whole presentation. And as soon as it went live, they had some dude with a microphone, like, interviewing some random BlackBerry people. And they tried to make it like a, like a Hollywood kind of, like... You know what I mean? I, like, I I, like, like a Ryan Seacrest kind of thing? I don't think people are that excited about BlackBerry 10. Like they had a video of like a guy like making a fan club and putting stickers everywhere saying BlackBerry 10 is coming. I, I don't think that's real. You, you got to be kidding me, right? I would expect that from an Apple fanboy, but I wouldn't expect that from someone from the, about BlackBerry. BlackBerry. Listen, there are some diehard BlackBerry fans out there. <laughs> And there's some diehard typewriter fans too. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> but but I mean, like, you don't go around putting stickers. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I just it's it's not interesting. Like, it's okay, not. There's some, I there's really, some interesting I, I concepts, tried. like you know the whole work and personal space that they have. Like you can separate it, but that's yeah. not. It's nothing new if you're like in IT because VMware has been announcing this stuff for. God knows how long for Android, so whatever. <laughs> Honestly, what, what, whatever. When I was when I was watching it, Timmy, I was like, okay, good. You know what? They're gonna they're gonna do well, good. They're back in the game. The only exciting news that I got from it was they changed their name to from to BlackBerry. That is dumb. <laughs> I was I, like, oh, cool, I guess, okay. I guess cool. they had to because the, the name Rim was so damaged that they had to just call it BlackBerry. <laughs> yeah, so they rebranded. They kind of realized that they're not actually researching and they're not in motion either. They're not. <laughs> so, Their company name was completely false. Uh, but I, I honestly, I did, I did want to give a damn. I really did. And I was listening and I listened for 10 minutes and then I went back to doing my work. I and I left it on plane. I wanted to care. Is it wasn't happening. I and nothing they showed me or nothing Mr. Thorsten Hines showed me. I I couldn't care. I didn't care. Of course, because it's 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 done. There's nothing. There's nothing new about about what they announced. It's another f- slab phone that is kind of runs apps. Apparently it runs the apps very well. Uh, games play very well on it. Okay. Apparently, apparently it's very how, fast. When you're like when your niche market is a bunch of old people who <laughs> want to get business done, your priority shouldn't be if games work well on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Like it's not a selling point. You know your your market is. Excel spreadsheets yeah. <laughs> and Word documents. Your 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 unfortunately your market is already a market that's controlled by Apple and Android. That's it. And a little bit of Windows Phone. So is this the? I don't think because a lot of people are saying this is like the the battle for third place. I don't even think it's that. I, I don't I don't think this is gonna actually gonna do anything. To be honest with you, Windows Phone is a much better uh, ecosystem than BlackBerry. And if, if you're talking about support for the enterprise, um, even at that, me and Vinny kind of looked at it to, today, at the, the licensing costs to get this stupid thing to sync with your enterprise email server. It's ridiculous. It's like $99 per unit. Per unit. 
It doesn't make any sense. I don't know what the point is. Why? Plus, why you have to buy the server. <laughs> yeah. Plus, you have to buy the server. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So all it, all people really need on their phones is email. That's it. That's all you need. That's it. And even at that, ActiveSync does the basic needs of of securing your your device. If it can do a remote wipe, it can also uh, lock the phone, and uh, yeah, you know. So whatever. Whatever. All right. Anyway, wait, wait. black. I don't, I don't, I can, I'm not excited about this. When are you supposed to get um, the OS update? Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Because, so if, yeah. if 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 you don't know, the the playbook is actually going to be upgradable to BlackBerry 10. Which I'm pretty. I was pretty surprised about that. I was, and it was nice. It was nice to. Well, they had actually announced it a while back, even before yes. Um, oh yeah. The yeah. The whenever it was the thirtieth or something. Okay. Um. And in, he he didn't he didn't reannounce it while he was pre- presenting. He kind of like uh, mentioned it after the whole presentation, I guess, when he was talking to the media. But yeah, it's supposed to be coming. Apparently, it is coming. There's no release date. There's nothing even close to a release date. Um, hopefully, I'll have the tablet back by then, so I could install it and actually at least I'll be able to see what it's all about, and I don't have to spend any extra money. To see what it's about, because I have a feeling that there's gonna be, there's gonna be people who are gonna buy this. There's gonna be people who's gonna buy the uh, the black. There's gonna be some people, and if I run into it, I want to be able at least to know how to set up an email account or something. But I'm very, I'm, I'm curious myself. I want to see how it works. I do want to see how it works. I want to feel it. I want to see it. Am I dying to? No. Do I really want a BlackBerry device? No. Do I like the OS? I'm sorry. I don't like it. I just... The, the gestures thing. Okay, great. Cool. Um, the the hub. It's nothing, I'm not down. It's Dude, nothing that says, oh my god, why no. haven't I thought of that? You know, Nothing screams that. No. This to me, I love... This I love. I love Windows Phone 8. Yeah, it's nice. I do. I, 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 I like the interface a lot. I'm not saying that because I'm a Windows fanboy. I just like the way it is. No, you're and saying I, I like the way wo- <laughs> I like the way it works. <laughs> I like the way it feels. It's very simple. It's easy to use and it's fast. I felt there was too much going on with with the with the BlackBerry 10. I don't know. I I just don't like the interface. Uh, I don't like. It's it. not a. Anyway. I think I'd rather have an iPhone than a BlackBerry 10. Well, I hope so. Jeez. Yeah, don't make that. A, that's a kind of an obvious choice there. Jeez, man, BlackBerry, God. Oh. I I, tr- I really, but I could tell you with all my heart, and us being Canadians, and the company being Canadian, I really wanted it to be good, and I'm just not. It does nothing for me because it's not a, it's not imaginative at all. It's just <laughs> it's just staying the course, and that's it. Just surviving, you know. Maybe. Yeah, let, let's let's do a grid of icons like everybody else. Let's um, kind of make life tiles, and let's make pe- be, people be able to go up and swipe to the right. That's interesting. What are you doing for me? <laughs> like, That's give it. me something new and exciting. That's exactly it. So That's what, whatever. So that is that. So BlackBerry, we say. You are going to suck. I'm sorry. On to better news. <laughs> um, <laughs> to be blunt. Uh, Office 2013 is, uh, just came out this week, and uh, I'm pretty happy. So they, they, kind of, uh, they kind of changed the way that the pricing goes. So right, you can always go to the store and buy a, a box of Office. And you have to download it anyway. <laughs> I like how that sounds. You can go to the store and buy a box of Office. It is. It is a box of Office. And uh, you know it costs like 130 bucks to like 500 bucks, you know, per license. Uh, yeah. For depends on which version, you know. Some comes with uh, just Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and OneNote, and then there's an extra one that comes with Outlook, and there's a few more that you know it comes with Access and Publisher. And then they have this awesome one, and I say this awesome one because it's actually pr- pretty much cheaper um, in the in the short term and mid term, let's say. Uh, you pay ninety nine dollars for a year, and what you get, you get all the office applications. So that's uh, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, um, 
OneNote, um, Outlook, Access, and Publisher, okay, plus uh, 20 extra gigs of SkyDrive, plus 60 minutes per month of uh, Skype calls as well, um, and plus some other crap that no one cares about. Um, <laughs> it's true. Uh, and you can install it five times. And this works on PC and Macs. Yeah. And you can use it on your Windows phone and future devices. I mean, why wouldn't you get this? Instead of paying $130 five times, you pay $99 once per year, and you get upgrades to the newest version when they come out. And so far, we've run a record of every three years is a new office. Uh, 2007... 2010, 2013. Yeah, so Office, it just it became a service. It became a that's service, all. and you know what? Um, I think it's that's the way to go. If you, if you're if you're a family of like three, why wouldn't you get this? It's ninety nine dollars instead of paying one hundred and thirty dollars every f- computer you have. You know, everyone, everyone. Well, it's it's now Office has become technically cheaper let's say yeah uh and it's also become completely easily ridiculously available everywhere you go yeah that's another thing too that they interest to introduce um, a streaming service so if you go to someone else's computer and they don't have office you can just like log into your portal and then say i want to launch word now and it'll just stream word and it'll do it on demand yeah you know so that that's pretty cool um yeah so that that's i i they're gonna i i'm Oh, well, I feel they're going to be phasing out the the box, the box of Office. Well, because the box is completely useless, because the box doesn't have an actual <laughs> DVD inside. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just like it's okay. Just, well, here's your license key, and it, you just killed like forty trees, and yeah, uh, for, for no reason. Not just for the box, but also for transportation for to get the stupid box in the store, and then you going in your car and getting the box. Um, yeah, I. I had this conversation with my girlfriend, and I'm like, we should get this. And she's like, no, but we don't own it. And I'm like, who cares? <laughs> it's five well, licenses. You own the license. You own the right to use it, for which is year. enough. For it's enough. You, yeah, for you, a year. You budget it, and that's it. Like, I mean, if, even if for two people, we split in half 50 bucks each. You're, uh, you're, people don't realize it, but you're, you use Office a lot. <laughs> use Office a lot. Like I like even at that for me I have my office PC and I have my Mac, and I'm gonna have both legal versions of Office. And you have your documents saved on SkyDrive, which are available to you anywhere. Which is an option anyway, because I can use Dropbox if I really wanted to. If so. you want, you could use any other service you want. Exactly. So I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see why anyone would buy. Like a box version. And this is for home use, by the way. If you're business, you still have to do the old method. So, ah, you suck. <laughs> but, um, well, the, the, there's, there's, there's other options for there's, businesses. There's and volume stuff. licensing, which you can get probably cheaper. Yeah, there, yeah there's, but there's, still, there's Office 365 for businesses as well. It's, oh, yeah, that thing. Yeah, there, there's going to be more. Yeah, it, but we'll, we'll just keep it home use right now. But there are Office 365 options for enterprise and, and business as well. Uh, you uh, this you know you um, you could integrate uh, exchange services with it SharePoint link stuff like that uh, but that's that's off enterprisey and um, and businessy kind of thing you know yeah so but it's know. there but it's I, there and and, and, and that's what they're going to be pushing now and it, you know it, you just have to be able to to budget it and. I mean, if you're gonna go out and buy the box of Office, it's like two hundred. Well, how much is it, Tim? Two hundred, three hundred bucks. One hundred and thirty bucks, I believe. Um, one hundred thirty bucks for, for and, the basic version. We're just talking about like. A, hold on a minute. I have this. I sent you a message with the comparison, and I will pull it up, and yeah. it will be awesome. Um, man, we have a lot of conversation today about BlackBerry Ten. Uh, we do. <laughs> but if we did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, one hundred and thirty-nine dollars for an office home and student twenty thirteen, which just works for a PC, by the way. So just to let you know, just so I just want to state this again: the ninety-nine dollar version is for PC and Mac. 
Yeah, and you right? get five, five installs. Five installs of PC or Mac. Yeah. Plus select mobile devices. So, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so you only get a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. That's it. Yeah. Um, if you get, um, if you pay $219, you get Outlook. Yay. Right? This is, this is a ridiculous office. Well, I like, I'll, I like, I'll, I'm, I'm an Outlook user. I actually like Outlook. So I don't use the Windows Mail. I, no? No, I use Outlook. I, I, I like it. It's got my calendar. I don't know. Um, and also, uh, if you want to get Office Professional 2013. Yeah, which is which is what I have right now. Four, I have this professional. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Yeah. You get yeah. it installed on one PC. You get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Office, uh, OneNote, Outlook, Publisher, and Access, and that's it. Yes, sir. But ninety nine dollars a year, you get SkyDrive plus twenty gigs. Personal exper- personalized experience, whatever the hell it means. Office on demand. The other one you don't. And you get Skype uh, world minutes for 60 minutes of Skype calls. So I, I think it's safe to say Office 365 win, winning over Office 2013 box set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, 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 don't, don't be a hero. Just pay the $99. <laughs> don't be a hero. Don't think it's like, oh, blah, 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 whatever. whatever. And, and just to let you know, um, I am still have the technical preview, like the beta. And it hasn't asked me to like update, so I'm gonna ride this pony until uh, <laughs> <laughs> until, until it dies. Until it dies. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Uh, no, it tells me that everything is good. Um, Perfect. I'm gonna go to manage my account, and that's probably gonna be the biggest mistake I've done today. And now it's probably gonna tell me like, "Oh, you should update." Why would you do that? Install that. It's, uh... No, it doesn't say anything. Okay. Um, um, yeah, my office. It says like everything's good. This is the beta. Like when we when we when you first signed up for the beta, it's it's still like yeah okay well. All right then. That's uh, that that works out pretty well. Um, okay. Products. I'm I'm just trying to see if there's something stupid that says like oh you have to be expired you're gonna be expired there why would you do that uh no um all right well then I'm just gonna stop talking now because uh yeah, life is good life okay. is good leave leave it alone <laughs> Tim I'm gonna leave it alone all right why why would you do that I'm like yeah come on screw me over Microsoft screw me over uh, no, so um, pretty much. Um, if you're in the market and you, you want to buy Office, you should go with Office 365. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah, unless, bottom you're, line. unless you're super paranoid, then go ahead and buy the regular Office, but we recommend you buy Office 365. Because... Unless you're an idiot. <laughs> Here I am trying my hardest to be politically correct. <laughs> we all know I love to be politically correct. And I just say whatever I think. <laughs> well, what's next on the agenda, buddy? Um, so the 20th of February, Sony's announcing stuff. Oh, God. Uh, you don't like this? No, I'm going to have to spend more money. Ah, uh, so this could be the PlayStation 4 that they're announcing. But why wouldn't they wait until... Um, what's the, that big show that they have every E3? year? E3? E3 that I completely because, forgot <laughs> because E3 and gaming shows like that is, are starting to become completely useless, and I think Nintendo kind of figured that out this month as well, which we're going to talk about later. But I like them. I like E3. It's useless. But anyway, but I like it. It's like it's just useless. like how I like CES. It's useless, but I like it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they say like, stay tuned, something new, and blah blah. blah. I don't. <sighs> okay, so besides like new graphics, right? Because new graphics, right? That's probably gonna be a given. What are they gonna do that's interesting? 
It's going to make people go from a PS3 to PS4. There, it's probably going to be medialist. You think people so, are going to download these games? I think people are going to download them, stream them. Uh, it's going to be super hyper connected online. The controllers better stay the same, or else they're going to be really pissed. Um, I think it's going to be medialist. I I think that's w- that's way too ambitious. Why not? Because the 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 content is is way too big. I think uh, they need to get this PlayStation Four out. Uh, because they're trying to sell 4K TVs. Oh God. Okay. Well, obviously it's gonna have 4K capabilities, right? So that, that's what I'm thinking. Like, it's gonna still have a media. It's probably gonna be like Blu-ray Plus. I don't want. I don't want it to be media. It's gonna. It's gonna be Blu-ray Plus, dude. It, it, we don't have the internet pipes in order to to download games like that in the hard drive uh, space. Yeah. We, yeah. we don't. We don't have that. There, there's I no know. way. There's no way. Um, so that's why it's gonna be Blu-ray Plus, probably. And it's going to be able to support 4K resolutions because they need to have something that can play 4K content. And um, movies are not the answer. Movies are definitely not the answer. Uh, video games are the answer because you can upscale those things in a, in a heartbeat and it'll look gorgeous. It'll look damn good in 4K. And I think that's their, their content. That's what they're trying to fill the content void with these 4K televisions. Yeah, un- well, they're going to have to step up their online stuff if they want to even come close to what Microsoft's doing. Yeah. they got to step up their game, and I think that's what they're going to do. It's going to be, well, okay, there they're probably is going to be media. I don't want there to be media, um, but there's probably going to be. Um, I'm hoping not, but the thing is is that I'll, there's going to be the option to be medialist. That, I think, is has to be there for sure. You could already buy games off the PS Store already. Yeah. So they're probably going to give you like a huge this hard drive. Huge though. Yeah, but I mean, now storage space is so cheap anyway. Yeah. Like, uh, it's I, I wouldn't be surprised if it comes with like a terabyte storage or something. Imagine if it comes see, with a terabyte storage. Yeah, but you see, like, or like a USB, I don't know, 3.0 thing. You could just hook it up or something. I'll probably USB three dot will be, but you're adding another box to a box, and it's like yeah, it's exactly, yeah, and the, so so screw that. But I don't know, put a terabyte of hard drive in there. So uh, they're, gonna have, they're gonna have to go to a three dot five. The problem is that the the two and a half inch um, hard drive, the hard drive space for that hasn't grown in a while. Like I think it grew to like a terabyte, but those drives are even more expensive. You know what I'm talking about? That, like the laptop hard drives, the spindle ones. Because yeah. ev- everyone's going to SSD now. So yeah. That, but that's a problem for Microsoft, be- uh, not Microsoft, Sony, because they need more di- they mo- need more gigabytes than than speeds. So, well, that's why I, I don't think I don't think it's going to be SSD storage because that would just be insanely crazy oh, no, expensive. That's, that's completely stupid if they do that. Maybe there's going to be two hard drives. Maybe it'll be some sort of uh, unless, hybrid drive. Unless this thing's going to cost seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Which it, you know what, it could. Maybe there's going to be an option for an SSD. Uh, maybe there's going, to be, there, there's going to be different options. All I know is that it, it better come with a one terabyte. If, if they want it to be media and to download and to save movies, they better give enough storage space. You're probably going to give it a one terabyte memory stick. Imagine. <laughs> memory stick. But wouldn't that be good, though, if, if the PS3 comes with a one terabyte drive? Wouldn't that be nice? It would be great. But it's just it, the, 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 the three and a half... Inch drives are they take too much power? Two and a half. The th- there's a the there's two and a half one terabyte. Yeah, but they're not the cheapest thing going. Seven hundred and fifty gigs then? <laughs> something, <laughs> something big, please. <laughs> I guess five hundred's okay still. Uh, how big is a PS3 game? They range from two to four gigs. No, that's impossible, dude. That, that, that's how much a Wii game is. No, they range from two to four. You're mentally crazy. No, no, no. The Blu-ray can hold 25 gigs. Yeah, so it doesn't mean the game has to be 25 gigs. Because remember, most games are multi-platform, so they have to fit on the Xbox media, which is just DVD-9 as well. So... The last time I tried to download Resident Evil, I think it was, I, I wanted to download Resident Evil 6 or 5, whichever the, the latest one is, 
which I still have packaged. I didn't open it yet. I think it was around four gigs. Wow. Pretty sure. Really? Am I right? That's it? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, it's about like five gigs. Yeah. And and that's a big game. That's a big time game. Why the hell um, did they put Blu-ray then? Blu-ray movies? I don't. I don't know. Maybe there's some that use 25 gigs. Uh, uh, I guess I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Anyway, I think it should be they ha- they should have an option to go medialess. If you want, which you you could technically go medialess now, but I'm talking about completely medialess. Like, don't not give me an optical drive in my in my PlayStation. Okay, so you know what? Um, I want it to be I, this big. I take back. I take back what I said then, because it could be medialess then if it's only like. Seven gigs. If it's seven gigs for but wait game, now, but wait that's now, it's not bad. That's seven, and that but that's see. Usually games come in seven twenty p. There's not many ten eighty p games. Yeah, out. but it, it's not going to expand that much. So not, but now if if we're, if we're talking four k, how big is a four k game going to be? Is well, it going to be much four times ten eighty p? If we're going to go in that logic, we don't. Yeah, but we we don't know for sure, right? So, yeah. um. We're just speculating. Obviously, we're shooting in the air here. We have nothing to aim at. No. Nope. But, uh, nope. God, man, why? <laughs> I don't want to spend money. Um, it's how much do you think this thing is going to cost? I honestly like five hundred bucks, six hundred bucks. Yeah, I I can see that because um, that's what Sony did last time. Five ninety nine U.S. dollars. <laughs> five ninety nine. <laughs> I see. Oh, it's true. He's the president now of Sony. <laughs> You think he's gonna yeah. go up? Is it five hundred ninety-nine U.S. dollars? So here's a giant enemy crab. Oh my god! I can't. that's still epic. I'm sorry. That 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 whole E3. If you if you don't know what we're talking about, just just Google our YouTube Sony press conference E3 2006. Best E3 ever. <laughs> ever. So. <laughs> I think we just found the title of our uh, of our part, of this episode. <laughs> Giant enemy crab. Giant enemy crab. <laughs> so, okay, because a PS3 right now, at 160 gigs, costs about like 250 bucks. Yeah. So when they announce the PS4, they're gonna say, "Hey, our PS3 now costs how much did you say? 250 dollars." Our PS3 now costs one ninety nine, and our PS4 is five hundred bucks for the base model. But you know what? Apart from like, okay, I guess I don't know. But, but you want know something that, that that doesn't make sense to me? What's the point of bringing out the PS4 then if you're just going medialess? No, there's going to be better graphics, obviously. There's going to be better online experience. There's going to be everything that the PS3 but, yeah, has d- now. And you're, you're, it's probably going to be uh, more suitable to be a, se- a set-top box as well. So, like, all your Netflixing, your streaming. But, they, all, but the PS3 already does this stuff. Yeah, but they have to do something better, though. It's got to be better. But, like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, if I, I get what you're saying. If I have a PS3, right... And I'm there, and I'm getting all these games and whatnot, and the graphics are still pretty good, and apparently the, the, the cell processor still hasn't been utilized to its full capacity and whatever, because the Xbox 360 is the, the lowest common denominator now. What is the point of shelling out another $500 for another game system? Un, un, unless they're doing some sort of new motion thing? Um... Un- unless, unless the, you know what, maybe they're just making new firmware for the PS3, which that would, I honestly, that would make me more excited about the PS3 than, you know, because... Yeah, no, but they not, can't. It's not old, it's not that old, I mean, in, in terms of age, it is old, but at the time, the PS3 was state-of-the-art. Yes, it was. It, it, it that's was, why it was, it was $599. That, exactly it, and that, that's why, like, it's still, the console is still, like... It's it's still like how can I say it? It's not outdated. No, it's not outdated. You could play Far Cry Three on that thing. The the Xbox isn't outdated either. The Xbox still gives out amazing graphics. So, 
Um, but but no, they they have to come out with something new because Microsoft is for sure going to announce the Xbox. I'm going to call it the Xbox 720. Oh yeah, because they have a whole new well. And this time, I I think that they're trying to come. They're they're trying to be first to the market. You know what I mean? Because uh, no, the market, Wii U is already first to the market. The, and Nintendo is always first to the market. No, they're not always first to the market. How weren't they? The, the, Last the generation, Wii, they weren't. When did the Wii come out? Right, but the two days before the PlayStation Three, and the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty came out like the beginning. Oh uh, yeah, that yeah, my, my, yeah. Microsoft had the Microsoft huge, came out like start. a huge head start. It's this yeah, the oldest system now. You yeah. know that that's bef- that's when they were like. That's they're still running on DVDs, you know. Um, even uh, the generation before that, it was uh, the PS2. Oh, the Dreamcast and the PS2. And then uh, the Xbox and then uh, the GameCube. GameCube. Yeah, no, the right. GameCube, then the Xbox, excuse me, by two days again. Mm, yeah. um, but um, I don't know. Like, I, I still think that the system is not utilized fully. And that, it doesn't matter. I don't think it. I don't think it matters. That's that's disappointing. Then, uh, you know, I think they're they're gonna come out with some sort of new. And they just redesigned it, eh? They just yeah, I saw that the white a, one, a, right? A, yeah, a redesigned the slimmer one, a, a slimmer than the slimmer, a slimmer of a slimmer model. So, yeah, I again. Uh, it, it might not but, even be. It might not even but, be the PS4. We don't but, know. But you want to know something again? I'm gonna go back to the, my point. You know, like let's say, um, you know, before you can get away with saying like, oh, like the, from Nintendo to Super Nintendo or Genesis to Saturn, like the graphics are better, right? But they did add extra things, like you know, the Super Nintendo added an extra L and R button, shoulder buttons, you know. The N64 was jumping to 3D, right? Which is makes faster graphics. Yeah, but they also added, you know, the joystick and the rumbling, right? Which changed gaming forever, right? You know, all these incremental jumps, like the PlayStation was there for CD, you know? And then the, 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 the PlayStation 2 was there for DVD. And then the PlayStation 3 was there for Blu-ray, right? And the graphical differences were huge. Now... I don't think, like, they, they have to come up with something that makes sense. <laughs> it's going back to cartridge. No, but they have to make something that makes sense, no? Uh, like, yeah, for, for, to, to upgrade, right? Like, there's nothing, I, there's no incentive. I, I, like, I'll give you an example. Like, um, the Wii to the Wii U. Right? It's not just a graphical jump. Like, they introduced a whole new way of playing games with the, with the, 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 the pad. Right? Honestly, yeah. I had a party here uh, in between New Year, Christmas and New Year's, and literally, I had like about twenty people here. We were all playing Nintendo Land with Mario Chase the whole time. Everyone was just like taking turns, having a blast, right? And it's 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 a, it's a stupid game. I will be the first to admit it. it's a stupid game. It's a hide and go seek glorified, but it's because you have the game pad and you have like you know it's a different way of playing. That's what's different about it. You know, so again, I, I, call me pessimistic about the PlayStation Four, but like, you know, I, I I'm looking forward to them to do something that's different in gaming, because otherwise, what's the difference between a PS3 and a console? I mean, a PC, a PS4, excuse me, and a PC, right? Yeah, but well, because I mean, the PC is there; it's the same thing, and it's been the same thing forever: better, faster, better, faster, better, faster, and that's it. But that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, so know, there's, no, there's no unique there's, differences. What what can I don't know. I mean, I Nintendo know. thought of it. Nintendo got it diff- got it right. They made it. Yeah, they made, but the, they the made Nintendo... this touchscreen. They made this touchscreen tablet controller that you can, that interacts with the TV. Yeah, and N- know, Nintendo was always good for that kind of, of of stuff. Thinking outside the box. Yeah, they were always good at that. That's what they did. Sony was just like, okay, let's get the best technology. Right now, put it in a box, see what happens. Let's make it incredibly hard to program for. So the true potential of the system will never be released. And let's sell it for a million dollars. That's Sony. Again, I don't know. 
but they make the best exclusive games. They have the best exclusives, in my uh, opinion. Yeah. I don't think. I you, think. No, you, I love their exclusives. No, you you can't. Okay, so so we're talking about Sony exclusives. Sony exclusives yeah. are what? Uh, Uncharted. Uncharted. Oh God boy. Of War. God of War. Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet. I'm probably missing some big ones here. Um, I just haven't I'm touched my right now too. PS3 uh, in a while. How about I just use Google? Uh, like I'm just, I don't know for exclusives. PS3 games here. Um, God of War. No, Dead Space is not. Call of Duty. No. Madden. No. Like. You know, for um, for uh, the PS3, you know, because like if you're talking about exclusives, there's also like you know Sony has like Halo, you know, and like I can't think of anyone else. There. Sony does not have Halo. I said Microsoft. Microsoft, uh. but um, I, I'm just gonna say like you can't compare that to like the Legend of Zelda. Super Mario Brothers, Metroid, F Zero. Um, what else? I the the I like the the Sony exclusives better than 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 the than the Nintendo exclusives. Really? Except for Zelda, nothing will ever beat Zelda for me. Nothing will ever beat Zelda. For me, I'm sorry, Zelda is the best. So me. okay, so just to go to the next story, Nintendo uh, announced some new stuff. Right, so they announced uh, that they're they're coming out with a virtual console for the Wii U, and they're coming out with um, uh, uh, a few more games. Right, so they talked about there's gonna be a new Mario Kart, there's a new Super Mario in three D, three D Super Mario, that's coming out. That's part of the Galaxy series, let's say. And then they announced that they're making a new Zelda. Oh, sorry, sorry, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid's not the exclusive. No, for Sony. No, it's for. Not. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid with Met- Snake, with with Solid Snake. Yes, it, okay. I I played that on the GameCube. No, 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 no. Metal like Gear the Solid. One, Metal Gear Solid, the one for PS3. Yes. Oh, it was PS3. Exclusive. Oh, Metal yeah. Gear Solid Four. Yeah, like that's okay. Metal Gear Solid Four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Metal Gear Solid Four. I, I'm going through the list. They have a lot of good exclusives that that I enjoy myself. Okay. And the only and and sorry to cut you off there. It's okay. But um. Oh, Grand Theft, uh, no, Grand Theft, no, Grand Turismo. No. Grand Turismo 2, yeah. uh, Heavy Rain was, is apparently really good, I, uh, I never actually played it. The Resistance franchise, the God of War franchise, which we said you before. Know what? You know what, save your money, people, okay, get a PlayStation 3 for a, like, you can get, probably get it for, like, you can just bundles out there, that's like a hundred and, like, no, sorry, two hundred and something dollars, two hundred and seventy nine dollars for two games, then, you know what? You know, if you don't have a PlayStation 3 or you didn't have an Xbox 360, you go get games like Metal Gear Solid 4 for $15. <laughs> really? I'm looking at these prices now and I'm like, man, Mass Effect 2, $15. Are you kidding me? Those are all great games. So, anyway, you were Little saying about planet. Zelda and everything? $20. Jeez. All right. You, you, uh, so, so wait, they they announced a new Zelda. They announced the new Zelda, and they and they they hope to show something by E three, mm. and they announced that they are remaking the Wind Waker for a Wii U, and it's coming really? out in the fall. Cool. And they showed some screens. Cool. So uh, you you know what I'm gonna send I'm gonna send you the link. The, these screens look really 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 nice. No, um, did, did you ever play the GameCube uh, Wii Wind Waker? I played it for a little bit. I never finished it, but oh, I you never played finished it. it. Never finished oh, it. Oh my god! Okay, so you you were only at the beginning. Uh, I can't remember where I left off. It's been a, too long. Okay, because like it gets really serious at the end, like really serious. Um, but um, no joke. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Um, Wind Waker has got to be one of my favorites, along up there with um, 
with uh, what you call it? <sighs> with Majora's Mask and Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword was really, really good. Like, did you play it? No, I haven't played Skyward uh, oh, Skyward Sword. Do yourself a favor, play it. It's for the Wii, it's for Wii, right? Yeah, it's for the Wii. Yeah, I'm um, gonna have to try to play that one day. I'm just trying to get the stupid news. Um, and Waker HD. There we go. Uh, Wind Waker Wii U probably Wii U. Are you sure they announced it, Tim? Are you sure you weren't dreaming? Shut up! They did. <laughs> of course they did. It was like the biggest thing ever. Um, I'm just gonna get the news and that's it. Um, so yeah, I'm actually very, 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 very excited for it. Like, very excited for it. Like, I'm gonna buy this like right away. In case you haven't noticed, Tim is a huge Nintendo freak. Yeah, I do like Nintendo. Like, I, I, I. I you know, I, I've I've had a PlayStation too. I had a PlayStation. I had, um, you know, other stuff too. I play other stuff. I have a PC and I play PC games. But um, I, I I like Nintendo stuff because I like the way they they think differently. So uh, no, it's a it's it's a pretty cool, pretty it's it looks really nice. Like it it's totally different. Like you can have like a before and after shot. And it just looks like sex. Cool. Right, looks you, nice. It, it does, yeah, it looks really nice. So yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, I'm excited for that. That's good. Well, I'm excited for another Zelda games coming out. See me, I'm caught in the world of Xbox and Sony, um, PlayStation. So I'm really, really curious to see what is in store for February twentieth. Yeah. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to. F- Wait and find out, but it's always nice to speculate and predict what's going to happen. Of course. You know? That's, that's so part of the fun. We'll see what happens come February 20th, and I'm sure we'll talk about it well, and yeah. whatnot. No, we're going to ignore it. You're like, ah. Yeah, screw it. It's only the PS4. No, no, here's a prediction for you Sony and Blackberry are teaming up to make the Blackberry PlayStation 4. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Then I'd go Xbox all the way. <laughs> Sorry, it's not going to happen. Oh, come on. It can nope. happen. Nope. The BlackBerry PlayStation 4. I'm sorry. If that ever happens, I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> the only way to fix it is to unplug the power cord and plug it back in. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a BlackBerry joke. Yeah. So, so Tim, are we wrapping up? Yeah, this is pretty long. <laughs> yeah, we well we haven't we haven't done a, uh, an episode in a while, so you're gonna have to forgive us for blabbing on like this. But blah, 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 blah. I guess we're gonna have to try to make it shorter again next time. Blah 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 blah. We've been doing this for about an hour and a half now. Uh, an hour and eighteen minutes. Okay, not bad. Ish. I don't know, something not like that. Bad. Yep. So that's right. it. Cool. So um, I guess we'll see if we can record, get on a reg- regular schedule again. Yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> I think Thursday or Saturday or I don't know. I have left to talk. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. All right then. So uh, with that, I'm Jim uh, Matthews. I'm Vinny Masidi. And until next time, keep it real. Ciao, Internet. <laughs>